Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Let's talk about how to convert your static duration ranges into dynamic based on the data inputs. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified. Let's check it out. This visual is showing number of tasks by its completion durations. These static slabs can be created easily by grouping the duration into fixed slabs. It is useful. But as said, it is fixed, and you need to manually change them if you need different slabs, based on varying input data. For this demonstration, I have used the durations between 1 to 15 days, and I will change it to 1 to 100 days. Let's look into the report, after refreshing the dataset. As that you can see, it is still showing 0 to 5, 6 to 10 and others. These slabs are not much relevant with my current duration ranges because now my duration range is from 1 to 100, and most of the durations are showing under others. This is happening because I have static slabs. So how to create a dynamic slab, which changes based on the input data. All right, here I am into a new Power BI file. And first of all, I will tell you how you can easily create a static slab as we saw earlier. For that, right click on the column and select new group. In group type, select list. And then you can manually select the durations from left side and create static groups based on your requirements. All ungroups durations will come under a group called Other. Our requirement is to create dynamic groups. So let me delete this column and add a calculated column where I will write my dynamic DAX expression to create a dynamic group. Name of the column is duration slab. Here I will create two variables. First is to store the rounded average value of all the durations. For that I can use average function on duration column wrapped inside the round function, so that I will get an integer value. Second variable is just to hold the half of this average duration. In my return expression, I will create three slabs. First is to have durations between zero to half of the average durations, where I can just validate if my duration in the context is falling within zero to half of the average or not. If you require more slabs, you can create. But for this example, I am creating three dynamic slabs. My second dynamic duration slab is validating if the completion duration is more than half of the average and less than the average duration. And the last duration slab will be from average to maximum duration. Using this idea, you can create many such dynamic ranges. All right. So I have created these three dynamic duration slabs and let us now create the same column chart visual by using this slab in its x-axis and number of tasks in the y-axis. Currently it is showing these three durations. Let me now change my input duration, and instead of 1 to 15, I will change it to 1 to 100. I will close this Excel input file, and again from Power BI Desktop, I will refresh my dataset and see how it looks now. And our duration slabs are now dynamically changed. Let's check one more time by reducing the duration ranges again. I am adding few more task IDs and durations, and I will change the range again from 1 to 50. And after refreshing again the report, you will see the duration slabs are again changed based on new data input. As said, this is an idea how you can create dynamic slabs, and you can always modify this expression to show the ranges based on your requirements. I have also created this sort order column based on same logic, where I can assign number 1, two or three and sort my duration slab based on this. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for all such interesting topics in Power BI.